Oh, hi, my name's Bree Seely. Sorry, the timer started. Um, I'm going to tell you a story of something that changed my life. One year ago, I was in the fetal position on my bed, talking to my mom, crying desperately about a job that I was doing that I hated. And I finally admitted after eight years for the first time that the job that I was doing made me want to die. So much so that my mom called several of my friends to come and check on me. Um, anyways, I finally realized that I was doing something that I hated, and I'd been doing something that I loved on the side, but it wasn't enough. F fast forward four months, I get an email from my employer saying, hey, um, we just want to let you know we're going to be cutting your pay in half. And I had let this job dictate to me what was happening in my life. And I lost it and started crying and called my mentor. and had just been at the California Women's Conference. And at the conference, I'd got an epiphany. And I was like, OK, yeah, that's cool. You know, I'll, I'll explore that at some point. Mm -hmm. um, what happened was I opened up my journal, and I started reading notes from Ariana Huffington's speech the day before. And what she does at the end of her speech is she gives out her email address. And I'm sitting on my couch with literally the devil on one side and the angel on the other side arguing. Email her, email her, tell her about this project that you have. and contact her, and the other, the other side of me was saying, she's never going to respond. You're going to get a, well, you know, three to five business days email. And I did it. And what went through my mind at the time when I did it is, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. She responded back to me within five hours. And she said, I love what you're doing, and I'd like to invite you to start writing on the Huffington Post. That was the birth of the Inspirational Woman Project. I conducted 99 interviews with, over a course of eight weeks with women. I launched it on Kickstarter, raised $15,000. In the meantime, the day after I talked to Ariana Huffington, I wrote my list of my top 10 press outlets that I wanted to be on, and I wrote the Today Show, and I was on the Today Show in August. Woo!